What's going on guys? It's your boy here, Glow like back with another video and I just released I'm not I did release one. I just recorded another video, so I'm going back to back. And you guys said you guys want more videos. So here you're gonna get three videos in one day. That's probably a terrible idea, but you're still getting it. Yes. Better break than view records. But yeah, and it's really second I start recording, I'm telling you this is Adrian 100 percent 100 percent No, no, it's hella annoying. Hella annoying. And another one. Bro, stop. 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 They're being annoying. Alright, anyways, let's get into the video. I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make a custom help command and um a custom Wait, not custom. I'm gonna be showing you how to make cooldowns and a custom help command. So without further ado, let's get straight into it. So for the help command, you're gonna actually have to do something. If you've tried ever to do this, right? Because I know I have. Just straight up be like big brain, right? Do client, client dot command, right? Big brain this, right? Async, def help, and then pass it CTX, and then just do. Right, we're just gonna. I'm gonna do a trashy one right now. Right, we can just do um. <clears throat> again, here's a really trashy one. Help. Help command go burr. I if you've ever tried to do this, even like attempted, you're probably gonna be faced with an error such as this. Help command has already been existing or is an alias because Discord.py has its own custom help command built in. And what we want to do first, before we even, in order to make a help command first, you want to get rid of that. So we want to do client dot remove. I can't even spell. Client dot remove and then underscore command, and then help. Now it will remove the thing altogether, and actually move this a bit down so it's accessible. All right here we go. And now, if we actually try and run this, it doesn't give us the error, and we can go into our Discord here, and do D, help, boom, it works. So that's actually first thing. Uh, you can customize this to whatever you'd like, so I'm going to customize it a bit, right? And when I mean a bit, I'm going to just list a bunch of commands. Why, you may ask, because I'm lazy. <laughs> Alright, yeah, but basically, I'm going to add something like this right uh so yeah i'm just gonna make an embed you most people just make the embed so i'm gonna steal an embed from something because it's a lot better than mine so yeah let me grab the embed real quick okay so i just created a terrible help command you guys should never make a help command this bad your bot will never take off or do anything but yeah i just made a very bad help command it has moderation and then value and stuff like this you can customize this to whatever you'd like whatever your choosing is and if we just were to run this go into here and if we were to do d help this time we would get an error and that's just because i didn't do my color properly i gotta change it over that's all me what a bunk gonna here we go all right if we do d help here you go we have like a small one right we can make this better however you'd like i suggest you make it better you better make it better or else i'm gonna be very disappointed in you but yeah this is just a basic help command help command but you guys also saw in the title it has cooldowns and so i'm gonna be showing you guys how you can make cooldowns also in discord.py and so yeah let's get straight into it so we let's get uh we have let's say bounce command right you don't want people spamming your commands so we can add a cooldown on it now i actually already added one for some reason very stupid though but it's basically at commands dot cooldown cooldown like so one two so you want to keep the first digit as one and then the last digit as what however the cooldown you want so let's do 30 for here but then we can do commands dot cooldowns oh no no right and then we can do bucket type bucket type here and now here's what you want i suggest here's depending on the command that you have do this so you can have channel a uh, server and user now this will basically be then if uh 
If you set it to server, this command can only be used every 30 seconds in a server. If you set it to user, then every user can only do it every 30 seconds. If you set it to channel, every channel can only do it every 30 seconds, and then category, so on and so forth. I'm just gonna do it to user, cause it's a bad command. You don't want like certain channels not to be, certain servers just be able to hang on for 30 seconds. And yeah, now you can apply this to every single one. I'm just not gonna, cause it's too lazy. Yes, very lazy. But now we want it, so it'll just not work at all. The command, if you try after you have a cooldown, it won't work. So what you do is you want to go to your, you want to actually make a new one because we're gonna have to make a new error for this. Make an error message, and this is gonna be balance. Balance like so, and our instance right here will be command on cooldown. So. command on cooldown and then what we want to do is you want to do msg equals equals this command is or let's just do take it easy please try this command again in and now you want to do here add brackets to this and then those brackets should be like dot um colon dot two f as an s like so right and then now we can do dot format hold up yeah dot format so this will format it properly you know get it everything that needs error dot retry after and then we can just do await msg dot send away ctx.send msg like so and now if we were to actually test this out click this here we go and now if we do debug it works like normal right if we do it again we get an error because it says wait down on cooldown hold up i'm gonna fix this real quick and i'll be back oh uh, okay so my biggest brain got this crap i did bal error and balance error instead of beg error and we're working with the beg command so if you had it like this and i also swapped out the error message i don't know why but yeah uh now we can run this and it will actually work not like my whole life um if we do debug and then if we do debug again it'll say please try again in that many seconds and basically what we do at the end here is not my display my bad <laughs> um we add the 0 0.2 meaning it will only show the last two de decimals you can change this to like five if you want to see it like more in depth you can keep i usually keep it to one or two but yeah you can swap that to whatever you like anyway that's gonna be it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it. and if you did be sure to subscribe uh comment down below what your favorite part was or what you want me to do next because i'm kind of running out of ideas i guess you could say um and yeah Anyways, that's going to be it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, leave a like down below. Until next time, go check out. See ya!